welcome to the Glass Tire Fall Preview Yay. for 2015. Yay. We're not counting down. We're just going to list five shows. Uh, they all happen to be at museums that we think will be good this mm -hmm. fall. And then we've got a couple of shows that we think will not be good. Bottom of the Barrel as a special treat just because it's the fall preview and we ran across them in our research. We know how much you love for us we to talk about things that we don't like. We yes, hate everything. Yes, we right? hate everything. We're full of okay. hatred. Um, the, we did look all over the state at all kinds of venues, galleries, smaller museums. We looked everywhere, we promise. Mm -hmm. um, this was a comprehensive There wasn't search. much. <laughs> Kicking it off. Uh, in San Antonio, it's going to be 28 Chinese at the San Antonio Museum of Art. Um, the title is, of course, referring to the number of artists in the show and that they are Chinese artists. Mm -hmm. uh, the work is from the Rubel Family Collection, mm -hmm. so it's a private collection show from the collection in Miami. The, well, the reason we picked this show was not to fluff the value of the Rubel Family Collection, but like because we have any influence over that. Country. We have not, because we are personally responsible for what we What we want to know is how things have changed over the last 10 years in terms of what kind of Chinese artists are being collected by it, Western collectors. Mm -hmm. as Because it's probably different from what it was. Because we remember the glossy pop exactly. aughts stuff. So this might be different or curious. We don't know. And Will it be distinctively Chinese? Nope. It It'll be American. <laughs> Because the whole globe, all art is now American. This is a mm. thesis. This is the a thesis. 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 This is thesis. thesis. About <laughs> every Do we have a problem with the fact that this is a private collection that's being sort of the values being if magnified? If we have a problem with that now, what kind of problem are we going to have five years from now? And that's when, when the all art world has gone deeper. Museum shows are. Yeah, we might as well just give up now. <laughs> just, Rubel just, collection. Just, just, Rubel. 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 Just give up. Sorry. Next. Oh, treasures from the House of Alba, 500 years of art and collecting. So this dynasty in uh, Spain has been collecting art for 500 years. It's all the greats. Speaking of collector shows. It, this is a big coup for the Meadows Museum at SMU in Dallas. And Why be, should we care about the, I mean, it's because like foo-foo it foo objects. No, 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 no. It's Titian and Rubens and Bruegel. But there's and, like fans and like jewel encrusted boxes. There's going to be some paintings here that we are going, that we're going to be very lucky to have them in Dallas for. Basically, we're looking just, I don't know, for the paintings. Yes. We're looking for the Van Gogh, the Goya, and all Fun of the hall. like, and all of the jewel boxes. Like, mm -hmm. right. They're yeah, gonna be we don't care about that. I, I, this I is masterpieces from rich Spaniards back when Spain was rich. Okay. Was? Yeah. Spain yeah. is in trouble now. Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Strange Pilgrims at the Contemporary Austin and the VAC in Austin and La Laguna Gloria is part yeah. of. Why did we pick this show? It's a group show. There's Texas artists in it. It's a it's, weird group. It's it is a weird group. There's old Nauman. There's Phil Collins, Annie Coolquit, Yoko, Yoko Ono. Ono. This, this is a weird mishmash. But I bet you that some of these pieces are going to be great. And they they justified it with a title from Marquez. Gabriel Garcia Marquez. What's I mean. A little veneer of intellectualism and literacy. True memories seemed like phantoms. All right, all right. I like Marquez, but he's got nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so at CAM, the Contemporary Art Museum, Houston. Shockingly, this is something that I actually think I'll enjoy. Um, uh, a performance with uh, Jeffrey Valance and Reverend Ethan Akers, two guys that I discovered when I was an undergrad through this really great magazine called Art Issues that um, out of LA that Dave Hickey used to write for and they would do Rip. weird things like have analyses of Disneyland and like a reprint of something from Hume. It was so, a good, it was really a good interesting book. magazine. Um, so Reverend Ethan Akers will assume the character of a Lutheran minister who has come to God through Jeffrey Valance's I artist would, book. I think of him as being like a, like a tent revivalist Southern Baptist type, not Lutheran. Well, uh, this, right. That's going to be good. It's a one, one day only performance mm -hmm. during the Texas Contemporary Art Fair on that Saturday. Go so see that it. will It'll be, be interesting. That'll be worth a see. And also in Dallas, International Pop at the Dallas Museum of Art. Yay. Dallas Museum of Art. Way to go. Go DMA. Christina I saw the show. So they've gotten this show from The Walker. I saw it at The Walker uh, this summer. Um, 
it's a great show. It is a pop. It's pop, but it's not necessarily a super upbeat, fun show. It's it's fairly political. It, it's not. It's not going to be like the sixties. The Usual Suspects. It is the Usual Suspects. A few Usual Suspects. Jasper mm -hmm. Johns is in it. Rauschenberg's in it. But it's um, it's not so much about aesthetic as it is about sort of ethos and the way that translated through fourteen or fifteen different countries, four different continents. So you've got a lot of Brazil, Argentina, Japan, Why you know, Germany. Why do you think it moved through all the continents? Pop thing. Because uh, haven't you read the power of I myth? know why and we is have it? a collective subconscious. Yeah, you actually write no. about this kind of thing. Of course I do. That's why I'm asking. Oh, I we see. have a collective a subconscious. <laughs> oh, mass production, advertising, all of this kind of taking over the universe. Yes, taking yeah. over the universe. Exactly. Joseph Campbell. Interesting. It's a little bit. It's almost scrappy. There's something kind of cool it's about scrappy. that. Yeah, it's almost a scrappy show. It's going to be show. a good show. Oh, Which leads us to the <laughs> bottom of the barrel. We had a couple of, well, we had more than a couple of shows that we just all collectively held our noses and, and grimaced when we read about. So we thought we would include those. The first one, in no particular order, is Chalet Dallas at the National Sculpture Center. Can I read the press what, release? Can you read the press? Brandon, please read the press release. During the daytime, it will be a space that museum visitors can view and experience. On certain evenings, it will have a different life as an artist's salon in the tradition of Gertrude Stein's Paris apartment. Oh God. A, an intimate gathering spot for influential and creative minds to meet. Is oh my gosh, look. So, this show was in LA for a long time. This, this installation was in LA for a long time. It's been imported to just the front experimental space at the Nasher. You're and making excuses for um, it because it's not the big show. It was really kind of an ultra hip insider sure thing in LA. So. It, 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 it sounds... Fun. And the second bottom of the barrel is Mark Rothko, a retrospective at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston. Mark Rothko! Mostly because he's just so overrated and there's this worshipful church of sacredness around him. Oh, no? I in like Texas, in Houston. In, well, yeah, in Houston, like, yes. Rothko's There's like, lots of Rothko on display right there's now. There's a lot of Rothko's. Always. And people feel very passionate. How can we say that he's the bottom of the barrel? I mean, I can hear it now. Like, people love Rothko, they worship it, it's spiritual, you get close to it and have it fill the periphery of your vision and, and get subsumed by the thin washes of colors, right? Am I right? That's kind there's of the worse deal. stuff than Rothko. But we're excited because there's a ton of shows opening uh, all over the state. Check our events listings, and we will return with the regular top five next week. Yes? Yep. yep. Go see some Go art. Go see some art.